What's going on, fellow rock and rollers? It's Mr. Jim here. Peace and love, a thumbs up, and AOK -okay and Cowabunga. And rock and roll, and I hope you're doing well. We're going to be doing a fun sort of activity here, a couple activities that involve singing and some different ways to practice warming up our voice that I came up with that I thought would be really fun to share with you. So I'm going to grab my microphone. Feel free to grab yours. Or we got this one right here, either one. That's why I like this out here today. And we are going to do some ones where we add on to one another. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add on units of time. Every single next unit of time is going to add another number to it. So the idea is one second, two minutes, three hours, four days, Five weeks, six months, seven years, eight decades, nine centuries, and ten millennium, right? And you can pretty much go further than that if you want to, but we're going to stop at that. So what we're going to try this is we're just going to, I'm just going to say one second and do like a knocking sound. So try it with me. One second. Now two minutes. Two minutes. And point to your watch for two minutes. What about three hours? Three hours, and we make a circle for an hour, right? Because it's an hour goes by. Four days, we're gonna just do four and then point up for days. Four days, we're gonna say five weeks. Five weeks, and pretend like we're looking at a calendar, right? Now we're gonna do six months. Let's flip over the calendar six times four, five, six. Let's do seven years. Seven years, and then we could say happy birthday to me because it's your birthday happens every year. Let's do eight decades, eight decades. And when we do decades, wow, that's 80 years. We're gonna pretend like we're walking like an old man. Oh, all right, and we're gonna say nine centuries, nine centuries, and pretend like we got a really long beard and we got white and gray hair. <laughs> And then after that, we're going to say 10 millennium, 10 millennium. That's a really long time. That's like pretty much, I'm so tired. All right. So these are different ways to do vocal warm-ups, adding on units of time and doing a little bit with a melody behind it. Unit of time is added in addition to um, that, that different number counting from one to 10. So here we go. We're going to do some really fun stuff with this next one. We're going to practice accents. This is a warm-up that I like to do now. Just want to give a disclaimer. I'm not making fun of anybody, okay? It's just fun to explore your voice in different ways. Just like you can make animal sounds like a ribbit, ribbit, like a frog, right? Or we could say like, yeah, like a cat, right? These are different ways to warm our voice up as well, which could be also a lot of fun to do. So why don't we do that now before we get into accents? Let's do animal sounds, different animal sounds. So ruff, 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 right? That's a dog. Try it with me. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Or meow for a cat. Meow, right? Let's try a frog, ribbit, 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 right? Let's try a cow, moo. How about a horse? Nay, that's like practicing vibrato with your voice, nay. And a sheep would be the same thing, bah, sort of idea, right? Because get the, ah, uh, 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 making your voice sort of quiver. How about another animal? Let's try an elephant. Ooh, an elephant's a tough one. You go like this, you're pucking your lips and you go, Whoa, don't spit it out. Don't go, Phew. that's a different warm-up activity. This one, Phew. right? That's an elephant sound. We can continue to go down the rabbit hole with these. Let's do a lion, a tiger, or a bear. Oh my, and this is like saying, Rawr, right? Like you're roaring. How about a duck? Quack, quack. Or for the adults in the room, aflack. <laughs> different ways to warm up your voice, right? What about a bee? Can we say, bzzz for a bee? How about a snake? Tss slithering snake right all these different animals make sounds which is really really cool so those are some animal sounds to warm our voice up warm our face up warm our throats up and everything in there awesome stuff all right so let's try accent warm-ups now now that we did those animal sounds those fun animal sounds let's do accent warm-ups again remind you i am not making fun of anybody I'm not poking fun I'm just pointing out some interesting things that we could do with our voice to warm it up and try out different voices and have fun with it all right so here we go Let's put another shrimp on the barbie, right? Put another shrimp on the barbie. After I do it and I point the microphone to you, that's your turn to try. So here we go. I'll have a spot of tea, right? How about I wash it down with some soda? Or fire up that grill, y'all. Or how about I want a hot dog or a coffee or a from New Jersey, right? Or how about... 
French now where we're going to say croissant. Like you're saying wax on, wax off, right? Croissant. How about Italian? We do, I want the spicy meatball. How about German where we say, I'd like a one Wiener Schnitzel. And after that, we could say something in Spanish, possibly, for, or Mexican. How about a burrito, amigo? Those kind of rhyme, which is fun to be real, amigo. All right, let's do Canadian. Let's say, I'd uh, like a Canadian bacon, eh? Or how about Minnesota, where they say, how's a boot that syrup? Or how about Boston, where we say, pack the cat in the yard? Or we could say something in Irish, where we say, top of the morning to ya. All these different inflections and different ways, different phrases that you might say in different parts of the world, different parts of this country. Just thought it'd be fun to explore these different vocal warm-ups with you. Feel free to have fun with it, and why not, right? So why don't we do this one last little one here, one last little warm-up that I came up with that's really nice. And we're just going to list musical instruments, right? We're going to list musical instruments that start with all different letters of the alphabet. And what's really cool about this is we could put a melody to it, any melody you want. And so that's kind of fun. So I'm just going to sing some random, random melodies. And we're going to start off with the letter A. And the letter A could be the accordion. That's an instrument that begins with the letter A. How about B? You could say bongo, right? Or banjo. What about the letter C? Cajon or Cabasa or the cello, all of those start with the letter C or a castanet or a cymbal or a cowbell or a clave. These all start with the letter C. How about D? How about didgeridoo, 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 didgeridoo? <laughs> How about the letter E for egg shakers? How about F, the flute or the French horn? What about G? Guitar, right? Guitar, guitar, playing the guitar. Different things you could do. Or a gong. How about H for a hung drum? Or a horn? How about I? That's an interesting one. I, right? I could be a challenging one. I is one uh, that I have trouble finding uh, different instruments for. Um, uh, different ideas for an instrument, but we can do the ingoma, which or the elimba drum, which starts, or the Irish bazooki, which starts with the letter I as well, or the NC or the Irish flute. All those start with the letter I, right? How about J? How about J? The jamboreen. Jamboreen is an actual thing, which is really kind of fun. The jamboreen. <laughs> How about K? A keytar or a keyboard, right? How about the letter L? L, 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 L musical instrument. That's another tough one. L musical instrument. Let's see. We have a lute or a lyre. That, not, not like somebody lyre, lyre, pants on fire, but a, a lyre or a lute. All right. How about a mandolin or marimba? How about an, an N? And N is also an interesting one. Or maraca, too, we could do for that one. How about N musical instruments, right? We're kind of playing a little category game here, but different musical instruments all throughout the alphabet. And just kind of fun to, to learn that, too. So here's the letter N. We could say the nay, which is probably the it's oldest pitch instrument known to man. It's really kind of neat looking. How about an O with an oboe? How about P? Piano, piano, piano. How about a Q? A Q, that's a weird one. Q, letter Q is called a... Kairak. It's it's pronounced it's Q A I R A Q. Interesting stuff. How about an R musical instrument? An R musical instrument. What begins with the letter R as a musical instrument? Fun stuff to think about. We could say a recorder or a rain stick. How about S? Saxophone, sousaphone, different things that start with S. Shaker or a spoon or a steel pan, steel drum. How about a T with a tambourine? How about a T, right? There you go, with a tambourine, which is fun. How about a U, which is an interesting, another one that's interesting. It's an Urdu, which is a percussion instrument as well. The Urdu, 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 Urdu. V with a violin or a vibra slap or a vibraphone. W, how about a washboard? That's interesting, right? How about an X, a xylophone? 
Oh, what about a Y? That's also an interesting one. A Y is an interesting musical instrument letter. And for Y, we could think of the U. It's a percussion instrument It's or a wind instrument. It's spelled Y-U, which is really interesting. And then Z, we have, of course, a zither. Zither, 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 zither. Different things to think about for musical instruments. Thanks so much for tuning in on these fun vocal warm-ups where we did a little bit of counting, right? Putting another unit, a number of time, one through 10, and then no different numbers of time after that, which is really cool. We get to think creatively like that. We did our accent warm-ups to warm up our voice like that. We did animal sounds, and we also did really cool listing out musical instruments and putting fun little melodies to them and little rhymes. Good stuff. Peace and love and thumbs up and A-OK, -okay, cowbunga and rock and roll. We'll see you next time for who knows what. Have a good one. Bye-bye.